Just wanted to make a quick video. This is a 2002 745i BMW. I'm uh, swapping out the transmission because uh, the other one failed. I think the car has probably around 160,000 miles on it. Uh, just wanted to show what's involved. You just got to get it high enough so we'll clear the bell housing. <clears throat> As you can see here, I had to do some finagling with the uh, jack to get it high enough. I had to use, uh, mine wouldn't go high enough, so I had to use this on the jack. Yeah, I got the old one out now. I got a good used one. Got the torque converter. And uh, you got to pull off some things. I got the heat shield, the drive shaft, or the drive line. Exhaust. The exhaust comes out complete except for the cats. <coughs> it's kind of tight with the catalytic converters in there. Let me get up here a little closer. <coughs> the uh, you got the you got two. You can see those. <coughs> you got the two. Um, transmission lines that feed in to the side there's one right there I got the other one kind of tucked underneath the cat but uh, you know you just kind of maneuver it around and angle it uh, with your uh, transmission jack to get it out of there And uh, you just you just gotta be careful around this line right here. Uh, it moves. It's flexible. You undo this for the uh, the the park brake <sighs> that bolts on. And then you know you got the sorted plugs and whatnot. You got one main plug that goes in the back of the transmission. This guy. Uh, and then you got this little harness thing. Um, that plugs into the O2 sensors. You want to undo, take the O2 sensors off um, because you know they stick out and they'll just be in the way. But you don't have to worry about taking the cats out because they're, of course, they're pain in the ass kind of to get to everything. But you can clear it, no problem. I wasn't able because the bell housing, I didn't have the car quite high enough to slide it out the side so. Um, I have enough clearance to slide it straight back all the way out. So, uh, it's been a little while since I've done a video, so I just thought I'd just throw this thing up and show you what's involved if you don't have a lift. Um, how high you have to get. I got these big, uh, heavy duty, uh, jack stands that go pretty high. I think these are six ton. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's a six ton. And, um, because I have a bunch of the smaller normal jack stands you usually have. People usually have, and uh, they're just not quite high enough to get the clearance you need to get a transmission out. But it's not the first time I had a 92 um, 500 SL that I had to do a transmission swap but I at the time I didn't have a transmission jack so I used that jack centered it on there balanced it and then I slid it off onto a it was like a big kind of like a moving a blanket that you use for like a moving you get from U-Haul put it on there and then I was able to slide it off or slide it out um, you know so because the bell housing had to be really really low to the ground and these transmission jacks are just, you can see how high it is still, and that's on the lowest setting. So it is pretty high, and I had to kind of like angle it to get it at the, the right height. I don't know if you can see that with the sun, but I had to uh, do the adjustments. Because what's nice about jack stands, or um, not jack stands, but transmission jacks, is these little adjustment things here. And over here, 
so that way you can you know you can um, angle it to help you get it out but um, these bolts that the two ones at the top are E12s the bottom ones are E14s I'll show you Let's see if I got the socket here I got this one um, I guess they call it like a reverse Torx um, that's the E12 that's for the two top ones um, and then I used a long extension and an impact driver. I use this impact driver um, you know it's just a cheap Harbor Freight thing and uh, this long guy I just use these extensions I use this adapter so it could fit the um, the socket and this is the other one this is the E uh, um, is this the E12? No, this is the E14. So you need the E14 and the E, uh, E12 to get these puppies out because they take these guys. So you got several of these. Here with all the wind, and then this is the E12. So, and then you got these two that go around the starter. So there's a bolt on the back. I believe it's a. See, I think it's a 16, 15 or 16. And then, uh, of course, it's a good time if you want to. If this is bad, your flex disc is to replace that. And then also the uh, if your center support bearing's bad on your drive shaft or drive line is replace this guy. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.